Barton Monkey in the morning. <laughs> well, yes, Monkey, we are back, and thank you very much for having me on the show. <laughs> Wait, you, you mean what's with the what's with the morning thing? It's talking to our audience out there. <laughs> no, we're uh, we're in a room alone. <laughs> no, I don't see things. I see people. C can you ask questions? Okay, that's a very deep question. I'm not sure that a tree makes a sound if it falls in the woods when there's no one around. I mean, that raises a great metaphorical and metaphysical conundrum about the state of sound in a subjective universe. I'm not sure I'm actually qualified to answer that. Well, no, I, I'm not actually a rocket wizard. It doesn't say that on my shirt, and it doesn't say that on the mug, at least. Think. Okay, well, all right, no, that's a good question. That's getting back around to the point. I apologize, I can just kind of get a bit odd that way. Well, how did I get into being a wizard in the first place? Well, it all started, Monkey, uh, when I was 11. I received my letter. And it was all very well and good from there, you know, I was put in a respectable house, one of learning, one of dignity. And I took my lessons well. And then when I passed the owls, I got sent to a university. And it was a very nice university, it was a very prestigious university. And there I switched my wand for a staff, and they stopped me in the library, assisting a somewhat rotund and orange individual. Liked a lot of bananas. <laughs> Librarianship involves a lot of bananas. <coughs> oh, um... Regular bananas, yellow bananas, not plantains. Well, I guess he might be in some way related to you. You're a little bit of a turquoise persuasion, and you're more of a monkey, and he was more orange and slightly orangutan-ish. Okay, I, I do admit I am sounding a little bit like my good friend, Howard Lovecraft, but that's because I had to spend so much time with him this weekend because he insisted on following me to this convention. <coughs> yeah, uh, that... It's a very interesting question. How did I manage to bring him back to life? Well, um, in my future careers, I happened to move into a rather expansive extra-dimensional library, and therein I found a notebook written by Dr. Herbert West, which detailed a formula for reanimation, a glowing yellow liquid which, once injected into a corpse, returns him to some facsimile of life. And I did that to Mr. Lovecraft, so that, um, so that I could make him watch movies based on his works, and um, then he could give his opinion on them. Yeah, you're right, monkey. I am a monster. I, I think I may actually be a genuinely terrible person. Oh, that's really nice of you to say. That that's it's heartwarming, monkey. Uh, I I'm sorry. I'm just I'm a little bit emotional right now. Uh, oh, that, that, that's very nice of you to ask. Um, no, I, I I don't think I need a hug right now. Oh, okay, that, no, that, that's a much happier question. Cartoons. Why do I like cartoons so much? I don't know. I don't know. Cartoons strike some chord with me. Maybe it's just... Maybe it's that I missed them growing up in my childhood. We didn't have cable, you see. We just had a TV with rabbit ears, so there was so much that I didn't see. And then when I saw little snippets of it at my friends' houses... I, I mean, mind you, we didn't have any television at school, of course, it being a good and proper school of wizardry. And then, uh, they, they just grounded themselves in some nostalgic value for me. Plus, some of them are just fun. Uh, yeah, I do like fun things. I, I really enjoy good, fun things. Yeah, that actually is why I moved away from negative reviews over time, Monkey, is, uh... I just... I like talking about what I like. I don't like being angry at things. I don't like denigrating things. I don't like saying bad things about people. Well, exactly like yourself. I, I like being good-natured. I like being liked and likable. Oh, 
I, I suppose I could perform some magic for you. It's just, um, it doesn't show up well on camera, you see. Um, you know, we see all these movies where magic is these great, very natural looking special effects, but unfortunately the real truth of it is, magic looks like bad special effects. It looks like bad Photoshop filters. I don't know why, and I think this is really only a problem that occurred once we got computer animation. And I think that's because magic is a, is a power from outside this world, but when we add it to something with CGI, it becomes part of the world, it becomes natural. But when people see magic, it's very unnatural, it's very abnatural, if you will, if I may borrow a phrase, preternatural even. So people see it, and a part of their brain just doesn't want to believe it. Oh, uh, yes, that is exactly the same observation that my colleague, the good Mr. Dresden, has made often and on occasion. Um, I don't really correspond with him much. When I say colleague, I mean more within the wizarding community than I actually know him personally. Bit of a disgrace to proper wizardry, really. Hero nonetheless, but... Not the kind of behavior that us dignified students of the Ars Sorcier, of the Ars Magica, would practice. I, yes, I guess I can be a bit of a pompous twit sometimes. But no, I, I actually don't take offense to that. I, I like it that you can ground me in reality, monkey. You are a strong philosophical soul, and I like you. No, seriously, I, I, I really do. It's, it's not flattery. Oh, that's very nice of you to say. I... Oh my, look at the time. I need to be back to the library. Oh, the life of Wizard on the Run is never done. Thank you very much, Monkey. Burning Monkey in the morning!